the lawyer that set it up for me, he didn't tell me a number of these things. And I found myself in Warsaw missing documents that I need to be in Ukraine for. What a huge hassle that was, expensive hassle. So very important you work with somebody that's really thorough and doesn't miss steps in this process. Otherwise, uh, it can be expensive for you. And one cool point I'd like to make, guys, is that Constantine can actually do the whole TRP for you while you're back home in America. You just... Uh Okay, now we're gonna jump into the seven step process you will go through together with Constantine to get your temporary resident permit in Ukraine by incorporating and hiring yourself. So the first step is what, Constantine? Can you go through that with us? Uh, it's uh, making, making power of attorney, yes, because uh, I need some power to, to uh, acting in, in behalf of your name. Yeah, for example, uh, getting uh, tax number for you, this is the first step, then uh, set up a company uh, where you will be beneficiary, be beneficiary owner, sole owner, yes, uh, appointing the director, yes, and then make um, a work permit for you as a future uh, director of uh, your own company. They call it tax ID number. Basically, it's like your social security number back home, okay? You need to get a tax ID number, a social security number in order to get your residency or, or your TRP in Ukraine. Um, another point to make is, uh, well, actually, it's a question for you, Constantine. A power of attorney is a very powerful document, especially sophisticated American guys watching this. They're going to go, oh, I have to give this attorney. I don't know my power of attorney. Um, can you speak to that? Are you sure this is needed? Why exactly is this needed? You kind of mentioned it, but what can you say to put, uh, you know, your client's mind at ease that they're giving you, um, are they, they're giving you their power of attorney? Uh, you know, we need to, to understand that I'm going to do every work uh, in behalf of you. So if you are not going to come to Ukraine be, uh, before getting your TRP, I need to, to, to make some action, to, to make some procedure to, uh, to get uh, TRP in the future for you. So that's why I need some power to, 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 do, to do some, uh, some action. And in this case, you need to understand that uh, I need uh, the power of attorney. I prepare the power in, uh, uh, of attorney in English and I will say, uh, send to you and uh, you need to check very carefully and uh, if you will have some question, please, uh, please ask. Yeah, I understand. You have to incorporate in Ukraine. That requires you signing on behalf of the client and you have to get a tax ID number. Question for you. If the client, let's say, came to Ukraine and he went with you, he could technically sign. Like if there's maybe somebody that says, I'm not giving my power of attorney to somebody I don't know. He could actually come with you in Ukraine and, and sign himself. Is, is it possible for you to do this without a power of attorney? Uh, yes, uh, it, it is possible. So in this case, uh, uh, I will not need the power of attorney if uh, you guys uh, come every time with me. Yes, and uh, make your signature every time. But I believe it's, it takes pretty a lot of time. So they're going to be following you a lot of different yeah. places and waiting in lines and stuff like this. It's, a, it's a not advisable. Okay, great. So the second of the seven steps is what, Constantine? Uh, it is a, a set up company. Uh, the company where you will be the uh, sole owner of, uh, of this company, beneficial owner of uh, this company. We also need to appoint the temporary director and uh, this director uh, need to be Ukrainian guy, some Ukrainian guy. For example, it uh, would be your trusted person here in Ukraine or for example, trusted lawyer as me. So. Uh, we need to appoint uh, such kind of person before you you will get the uh, work permit so basically step two is set up the company and get the work permit yes after setting the company it allows uh, to me to submit the document for work permit for you okay step three as i recall is to leave ukraine and go to any ukraine consulate in any other country to get your um, d visa yeah 
uh, yeah, completely right. So you can stay, for example, in Canada and USA, on some countries of European Union, and go to the uh, Ukrainian consulate there and uh, apply for Visa D, so Visa through uh, through employment. Right, and so if you're in Ukraine, you can go to Moldova, that's close, or Poland, that's where I went into Warsaw, Poland. Very simple, takes about a week. You have to take a bunch of documents into the Ukraine consulate uh, outside of Ukraine. Let's go through the documents. First, you must have 30,000 euro in medical insurance covering you for three months in Ukraine. Then you must have an application for D visa, which you can get online. You must have a copy of your work permit, which must be notarized. You must have your job offer invitation from your LLC uh, company in Ukraine, which Konstantin sets up for you. You must have four passport size photos. You must have three months bank financial statements showing a minimum balance required to get your TRP and that changes from time to time and you must show your receipt of paying a consulate fee to get your D visa. Is that about sum it up uh, Constantine? Mm, yes it's all it's all. I just want to say on this point the lawyer that set it up for me he didn't tell me a number of these things and I found myself in Warsaw missing documents that I need to be in Ukraine for. What a huge hassle that was, expensive hassle. So very important you work with somebody that's really thorough and doesn't miss steps in this process. Otherwise, uh, it can be expensive for you. And one cool point I'd like to make, guys, is that Constantine can actually do the whole TRP for you while you're back home in America. You just uh, FedEx uh, a photocopy of your passport and um, a notarized power of attorney that he will send to you by email and uh, you get that notarized in America and then FedEx it here. And then you just come to Ukraine to pick up your actual approved temporary resident permit for three years in Ukraine. Is that right? It is true. When I was getting it, uh, my TRP done, the lawyer spoke no English at all, so I couldn't, uh, I couldn't ask all my questions. And it seemed like a little bit funny business.